The Sooners did not have to deal with the Longhorns' leading scorer for this edition of the Red River rivalry. Texas announcing on Friday that Kerwin Roach II has been suspended indefinitely for violating team rules. A huge development heading into an extremely important game for OU. The Sooners trying to end a three-game losing skit against their Red River rivals and build some momentum with the calendar changing to March in less than a week. Former Sooner Buddy healed in the house. First half, Christian James burying triples. Says he's been getting up more shots lately in the gym, and it showed he connects four times from downtown in the half. Later, Jamal Bienemy to Brady Manick for the alley-oop. Sooners up 42-28 to at halftime. After the break, OU ups the lead. Bienemy, the pretty no-look pass. Rashard Odoms throws it down, and the Sooners go up by 17. But the Longhorns climb back into this one. Eventually, pulling within three points with less than three minutes to go in the game. OU not about to fold up in this one, though. Christian Doolittle puts the lead back up to five. But Texas cuts it back to two. Then Doolittle misses a one-and-one -one free throw. Final seconds. Longhorns can tie or win, but the enemy gets the game-saving block. Sooners take down Texas 69 to 67. Oklahoma winning the battle of the boards with a 39 to 31 rebounding advantage. And the Sooners feel good with March Madness just around the corner. We've had momentum these past two games and uh, we just want to keep rolling. We know we got to get better and uh, we know we got a lot to work on and uh, get a couple more wins to try to get into this tournament. To put just how important this game was for Oklahoma into perspective, the Sooners have four games left in the regular season. Three of those are against teams ranked right now, including a trip on Monday to Iowa State. At the Lloyd Noble Center covering news that matters, Jeff Kolb, Fox 23 Sports. The Sooners honored Heisman Trophy winner Kyler Murray at the basketball game today. It's a busy time for the former OU quarterback. He just announced last week he's picking the NFL over pro baseball. Now he's getting ready for next weekend's NFL scouting combine. Asked today why he chose the NFL over baseball, Kyler had a pretty simple answer. My love for the game of football, um, you know, I, I put a lot at risk, you know, coming back to play football a lot, but at the end of the day, I mean, I, this is, I was hoping to put myself in this position and uh, this past season and, you know, kind of went and did that. So uh, here we are.